if I read one of these books when I'm 30, that was obviously just the right time for me to read it. Not necessarily now. So I'm trying not to be... You keep telling yourself that. I feel very attacked! Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. Today I thought we would just do actually a really, really fun video. I have scrolled back to the start of time <laughs> to um, the third video on my channel. Well, it's actually, this is the first video I ever filmed. So it's gonna make painful watching. Are you comfortable? I'm scared. Are you scared? Yeah, I You should be. But it's the third video I ever uploaded. I called it Swole Book Haul to try and get more views for it being a book haul. But it was actually all of my owned books. So at that point in time, all of the books I owned. And I thought we could go back and watch it and see how many of them I have actually read. I uploaded it on September 24th, 2019. So it's been over a year now. I don't know how many of them I'm gonna have read. Like I really don't. From what I can remember, I think I had about 20, 25 books maybe, maybe a bit more at the time. And I remember being embarrassed by that. I remember thinking, that's, that's extortionate. extortionate. This, this is ridiculous. ridiculous. Why, Why do I read so many books? books? And obviously I had not been on booktube very long because I now have, I think I'm at about 80. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not embarrassed? Probably since this video was made, I have read 140 books in that time period. So you would hope that I have read those 20 books. We were all so happy that day. It's, it's actually hard to even imagine how terrible things would soon become. I'm going for half. I'm hoping for at least half. Hang on, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a notebook and I'm gonna make a tally. Let me know also if you would like me to do this video again. Like I know some people do it, all of my physical owned books. So let me know if you want me to do that again, cause I will. I now have like 80, so it's quite a lot. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I sound way really too nice. To... <laughs> so I have 31. Oh, 31. Okay, that's more than I show. thought currently. But I'm really prioritizing getting through these books before I buy any more, cause your girl doesn't have much money. <laughs> well, Science of Girls by Pat Barker. <laughs> well, I've already seen our first book and that statement didn't work, Megan. <laughs> Haven't read it. Haven't read it. Does anybody care? Oh my God. Do you care? I think I'm gonna be reading that soon for a video, but I still don't really know anything that's about. Next. Then we've got The Poppy War. Oh, I read it. Fung? Again, I five stars. Like the Poppy War, I loved. I loved it so much. I think it's a wonderful book. It is the story of Rin as she becomes this kind of like military figure. She gets to go to this military school and it's just very much based on Chinese history but set in this fantasy world and it is brilliant, amazing. Everyone's been talking about it so you've probably known about it but I love The Poppy War, five stars. Next we've got Cersei by Madeline Miller. Haven't this read it. is a story of <laughs> Haven't read Cersei, it. the god. That one, isn't that cover? It so is. So pretty. So pretty. It is pretty. Doesn't mean you've read it yet though. <laughs> Next we've got Heartless by Marissa. I've read it! Um, I've read <laughs> all the recordings. <laughs> Success. Okay, I'm just gonna put my head here because I'm in the shade, whereas if I'm here, you can't see me. So um, I have read Heartless. I gave it, I think, four stars. It was good. I didn't love it as much as something like the Lunar Chronicles. And I just think Marissa Mayer, like, there's something brilliant about her writing. I really love reading her stuff. It's light, fun, quick. We're two for two. What's next? Next, we've got Skyward by oh! Jordan Sand. I do have it here, but it's at the bottom of a stack that's up here. You can just trust me that it's there. I didn't actually like Skyward that much. Well, I gave it three stars. It's probably more like a 2.75. I just struggled with the writing style. I didn't enjoy the kind of matter of factness about it. I didn't feel like the world building was very good. I felt like the story was boring as fuck, like so boring. And yeah, it was a real disappointment when I read it. So. Skyward wasn't great. I don't think I'm gonna be continuing on with the series. My dad didn't particularly like it either. We are now three for two. I've read three of them. Okay, the last book on here is Biased by Jennifer Eberhardt. This is basically a non-fiction book about the unconscious biases that we have. Haven't read it. This is one that I keep meaning to get around to. It's very highly recommended. It is about race and kind of the science of race and racism. And so I think it's something that I, I wanna get around to, but like non-fiction at the moment, I'm just struggling to read as much. 
and fit into videos and stuff like that. So maybe I'll do like a, yeah, but no one will watch a non-fiction vlog. This is my thinking. Like no one will give a fuck about a non-fiction vlog. Now more than ever, this is a really important book to read, you know, dealing with race and racism and the science of it. So next to the books that I bought at full price, I have uh, the first two books in the Diviners series, okay. which is The Diviners, Lair of Dreams. <laughs> And then, Before the Devil Breaks You. I, I was so excited to read these. And I went to America in... April. April? In April. And it's August, September now. So, I've really done well at getting around to these. I don't know why I'm so mad at myself for, like, buying a book in April and not having read it by September. Now that would be a good thing. <laughs> Y'all should be so ashamed of yourself. I, 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 it was bad! I have read The Diviners and Lair of Dreams, and I have not read Before the Devil Breaks You. But I am gonna be reading this, I would say, I think next week. I think I'm gonna get to read this. You all know that literally for months, I've been trying to fit this into reading vlogs, and I haven't been able to. Like, I've been wanting to read it so, so bad. I'm very excited to finally get around to it, and it's not a book that I have been putting off reading. I just haven't been able to fit it into a reading vlog. But now I have, so I'm gonna be reading this very soon. So this, that, that I feel like I should get a point for, because like probably by the time this video comes, out I would have read it but as of now I haven't and I, I can't lie to you <laughs> I'm sure the polygraph was going like this like the bitch is lying she's lying the first is truly devious by Maureen Johnson I've read it loads of times where I've actually wanted to read this where I've wanted a bit more of an easy read it's a kind of young adult mystery book I love mystery books Go me. I really like the Nancy Go Drew me. books Go that's because I played Nancy Drew as a kid. Yeah, there's a lot of times I want to pick it up, but then I know I want to dive into the sequel and I do want to wait until the sequel comes out in paperback soon. Isn't that so sad? So I have read Truly Devious. I think I gave it about four stars and I have read its sequel, which I didn't have at this point in time, but I wanted to wait until the paper book comes out. The third book has been out for like a year, but I still haven't bought it because I want them all in paperback. Um, and I heard really mixed things like last year when the third one came out. I really liked it. I really liked that kind of like dark academia school murder mystery, but lighter YA vibe. The next book I have is Next Year in Havana by <laughs> Chanel Cleeton. Um, I bought this on the recommendation of Riley Marie, uh, one of my favorite YouTubers that there is. <laughs> I have read that and I hated it. I gave it two stars. It's one of my least favorite books of the year. Oh. Mm. All right. Will not be continuing on with that series. I hated it so much. Like it's one, I just hate, I just hated it. I'm sorry, Riley. Like I know we agree on a lot of other things, but this book just no. Nah, 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 nah. I just thought it was really poorly written. The romance was shite. The plot was shite. Everything about it was shite. Didn't like it, but at least I've read it. At least I get a point for that. And Next. then the last book that I have, I bought full price, was Mark Atwood, Alias, Alias Grace by Margaret Atwood. One way around. And Margaret Atwood, I would say, is one of my favourite authors. However, I have not read one of her books since I made this video. <laughs> I have wanted to read this book for so long. The thing is, though, it's a very intimidating book. It's quite long. Like, how, like, it's over 500 pages. It's historical fiction. It's a bit more dense. I don't know. It's just not the kind of book that I reach for when I'm having to read three books a week for a video. But I do want to read it soon. Like, I want to get through more of Margaret Atwood's backlist, but I haven't read it. I haven't read it, so I don't get a point. There's no competition here. There's no one else fighting to get points, but I am upset if I do not get a point. So next we've got all the books that I've bought um, reduced um, at used bookstores. I do not buy books reduced that much anymore. I mean, like for the past seven months, how long have we been living in this hell? There haven't really been a chance to because a lot of the secondhand stores that I would usually go to have been shut and I haven't been traveling as much. I managed to get a couple 2018 This isn't gonna go well, I haven't read these. The first is The Wife of haven't read it. by Grim Hendricks <laughs> and Sarah. Uh, I mean, I've got no reason not to read it. If it fits in a vlog, I'll read it but I haven't felt particularly inspired to read it. I feel like I don't read this kind of domestic woman against woman, woman crazy thriller very, I don't really like that, I don't think. <laughs> This is not for me. No. But I will still read it. And like all of these books that I bought secondhand were like a pound. So it's not really the end of the world that I haven't read it. But the next one I've already seen is The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. Let's hear what I say first. But I have not read that either. <laughs> then I also got Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle for a pound um, with sprayed edges. 
Ooh. And it looks completely new. I don't even know if anyone has read this. So I have not read this yet either. However, I do have it planned for a vlog and I will be reading it. Within the next month, <laughs> that's not that bad. Like, like the Before the Devil Breaks You, I'm getting around to them really soon. Next, anyway. I've got both uh, Half of Your Son by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie and Americana okay. by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. I've never read her fiction. I've listened to a lot of her speeches. I've read Americana, but I haven't read half of the Ghetto Sun. I really liked Americana. I gave it like four stars. It was a really interesting discussion of race and examination of race and critique of racist societies and microaggressions, but it was dense. It was heavy. And so I feel like it's going to take me a hot second before I end up getting around to half of the Ghetto Sun. I'm very intimidated by it, but at least I've read one of them. <laughs> You did your best, but I guess your best wasn't good enough. Next, Next. Got The Help by Catherine Stockett. Well, we need a new um, category. <laughs> so I have unhauled that book because I just never realized how racist it is. I don't know why. I don't know, I think I wasn't very clued up on like book discourse and discussion around books and I now know it's a very racist book. So I unhauled it, I got rid. Then we got Catch-22 by Now we need another new category. Again, this is an absolute classic for a lot of people, but I've never read it. Next is White Teeth by Zadie Smith. I've heard polarizing things about Zadie Smith. Okay, let's talk about these next two books in succession. I DNF'd both Catch-22 and White Teeth. I At the start of the year, this hasn't continued, but at the start of the year, I started this like mug where I put the books I was most intimidated by and I had to pick one a month. It lasted like two months because I DNF'd both the books. <laughs> I feel like White Teeth is one I'm never coming back to. Like I have no interest in reading that, but Catch-22 I may read. Like, I, I still hold the door open for that one. It's not currently on my, like, physical TBR, but I would be interested in giving it a go at some point in the future. I'm sorry about the lighting. Please don't hate me. Like, it's just really uncooperative today. The Sun. I'm not your friend. Piss off. Next. Lastly, we've got Atonement by Ian McEwen. Um, I'm not a big fan of the cover. Oh dear. Like the this isn't going well. Cover, and this one is a bit battered. Again, it's like a classic, so, um... When I saw this, I was actually really excited to pick it up. And I think it might be one that I read pretty quickly. You're not reading that quickly, sis. <laughs> you can just tell when I'm talking about these books and I'm going, oh, it's a classic, so I had to pick it up. Like, you can just tell I don't actually have that much of an interest in reading it. I didn't have a clear identity on what I enjoyed, on what I liked reading. I didn't know who I was. Like, I still want to read this, but the point is I bought all of these books not knowing who I was. I didn't know me. It is a classic. I should read it at some point. But am I going to get around to it soon? No, I'm not. I'm just not. I can't so really see what it is. is. Tall by Hilary Mantle. Um, everyone's excited about the third book in the series coming out soon. It's very long. Yeah, you don't say. So, Wolf Hall, haven't read. This is getting worse and worse. <laughs> I thought I was doing okay. I lost all hope today. I'm in. It's massive. Like, when am I ever going to get around to this? Never. I mean, one day I will. I do love kind of Tudor fiction. Like, I don't ever read it, but I love the idea of it. <laughs> it's again that kind of literary fiction that I thought obviously I wanted to read, but evidently don't. Next now, the next Mad book I'm going to put under Unhaul, Mad Adam, or whatever it's called by Margaret Atwood, because I didn't know at the time this is actually like the third book in a series or something, I'm pretty sure. I've taken it off my physical TBR list. Technically, I've put it on Unhaul for the purposes of this video but it wasn't an unhaul because I didn't want to read it it was just an unhaul because I actually couldn't read it <laughs> next please next we've got a battered version of we need to talk about Kevin by Lionel <laughs> I'm not even gonna listen to myself talk about it I don't even want to hear myself talk about it I still have it haven't read it I've heard some like mixed things about the author and this book since I hauled it next we've got Warlight by oh, Michael oh my God. Again, I'm not listening to myself talk about it. These books, like, I just get angry at myself because I, do I, I have no idea what I want to read at this point in time. Like, I don't care. I don't even know what this book is about. It's set at the end of the war. Who? I don't know. My mum told me it was good. It is, to be fair, out of all these books. This is under 300 pages, so, like, maybe I'll get around to this soon. Next, we've got Rebecca by <sighs> Daphne du Maurier. <sighs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Okay, so obviously haven't read it. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm such a failure. I thought I'd be doing all my better at this. Stop. It's actually.
actually painful to watch. I did have plans to read this next week. However, I do not think I'm going to have time to get round to this one. I do really want to read this. I do want to get back into classics because I think I read them more so before I had my booktube channel. I think on booktube there's just a pressure to read what's just come out, what's new, what's hype, what's been generally hyped the past five years. And it means that just classics aren't something I reach for. I put them off. I don't read them. I still really want to give Daphne du Maurier's works a try. So this is actually the most positive one we've had in a while. <laughs> <laughs> so lastly, we've got the non-fiction books that I have. Non-fiction. The first is Ways of Seeing by Oh, okay. John I've read this that. Is I read that. I didn't enjoy it. I think I gave it like two or three stars. But I had to read it for a course I was doing. But at least it means I've read something. Next, we've got The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. I am quite into meditation and... <laughs> Uh, self-improvement and all that kind of stuff. I have read that. I think I gave it three stars and then I unhauled it because I read it mainly by audiobook anyway. It was such an old tad copy. I didn't feel like it was particularly enlightening. I didn't care about it so I unhauled it but I've put it in red because like I did read it. I don't think I really want to read stuff like that anymore. Next is Forgotten Women the Leaders by Zing Woo! Ching. Um, I believe that's the only We're back on it, again. boys. This is a series, part of a series, all about powerful women through history. I really love learning about women in history who have kind of been forgotten. Illustrations in here are beautiful. Each page has a different style so cute. of illustration. Yeah, I loved this. I think I gave it four or five stars, maybe 4.5. I cannot wait to read the rest of this series. I don't currently own the rest of the series, but it was just such a cool look at forgotten women throughout history and getting to finally tell their story and talk about them and recognize the influence that they've had. So I loved it, loved that one. We have The Secret Barrister. Um, by the Secret Barrister. Let's look at the UK justice system, its many issues and flaws. Secret Barrister was fine. It was fine. It was like three stars. It was interesting, but it wasn't particularly engaging. You know, that's just my opinion. Everybody got an opinion. Second to last is The Beauty Lift by Naomi Wolf. Lastly is Educated by Tara Westover. This is the story of a girl who um, wasn't really educated. Okay, so those last two haven't read. The beauty myth is so short. Where is she? I'll read this at some point. It's so short. I'll probably read it for like a readathon or something because it's only just over a hundred pages and obviously the book is like tiny. Educated, I still want to read. I think someone has my copy. I don't know where my copy's gone. So there we have it. I did not do as well as I thought. I should have kept my mouth closed. That's embarrassing. That's actually embarrassing. I'm actually ashamed in myself. But I think it just shows that I didn't know my reading taste at the time. I didn't know what I enjoyed reading, what I wanted to read. These 17 books that I haven't read yet, they are all still books that I want to read. Evidently, I haven't unhauled them. But I think for a lot of them, it will be quite a long time until I get round to them because I'm just not excited as I am as excited with a lot of my other books. If I read one of these books when I'm 30, that was obviously just the right time for me to read it. Not necessarily now. So I'm trying not to be... You keep telling yourself that. I feel very attacked! So let me know if you enjoyed this video. I'm going to be doing a few more reacty type videos um, in the next few months. So keep a look out for that. I enjoyed it until I lost. <laughs> I didn't, I don't like the fact that I haven't read as many of them as I wanted to have read. But listen, it'll happen one day. I'll read it one day. But um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I will see you very soon in another video. Bye.